In Patriot Games, the games begin when ex-CIA agent Jack Ryan thwarts a terrorist kidnapping attempt in London. I couldn't just stand there and watch him shoot those people right in front of me. It was rage. Ryan's rage pales by comparison to the brother of the kidnapper he killed during the destruction. Sean Miller, played by Sean Bean, vows revenge and sets out to destroy Ryan and his family, prompting the history teacher to come back to the CIA. I'm after the man who tried to kill my family. I want back in. When you're dealing with a novel that has sold so many copies and has been appreciated by so many people, there is a responsibility to be true to the spirit of the original. Um, and I think we have been. Here we go, shooting. Patriot Games was produced by Mace Newfeld, who with partner Bob Room brought Tom Clancy's The Hunt for Red October to the big screen. They're already in pre-production on a screen adaptation of the author's book Clear and Present Danger. It'll be second of three films featuring Ford as Jack Ryan. The 49-year-old actor stepped into the role after negotiations with Alec Baldwin went sour. No stranger to multi-picture deals, Ford says he had no trouble committing to the character for the long haul. I thought that the character had the, had the uh, um, complexity and, uh, and w the potential to be interesting to the audience on more than one occasion. Still, much depends on how Patriot Games fares at the box office. The Hunt for Red October earned more than $120 million. If Patriot Games is as successful, Jack Ryan might become America's answer to James Bond. On the Entertainment Beat, I'm Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10, Eyewitness News.